It's Wednesday, November 17th, 2021, and the morning edition is live. On today's show, a local physician shares how the air ambulance team copes with the deaths of ill COVID-19 patients. Pumpkins harvested just days before we give thanks. And the island of Exuma remembering World War veterans. So let's start the morning off right. Welcome to the Morning Edition. I'm LaDawn Davis. No need to adjust your sets. I'm back. Yes, I'm Charles Fish. Good morning so and happy It's so year. great to have you back in the saddle. Oh, how, how was vacation? Vacation was good. Got a uh. lot done. I got in. I got engaged. Oh, oh, jeez. Again? No, again? I don't want you to get engaged again. like that. I got engaged in uh, a lot of schoolwork. Okay. Helping my daughter out. Okay. I got engaged in a lot of painting oh, uh, around the house. I got engaged in a lot of arguments um, with my wife telling me I'm sleeping too much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But it's good What's to be that? back. Uh, a lot of viewers were stopping me on the streets, mm -hmm. asking me what happened when I be back. Vacation, the body needed rest. The 16-year-old mm -hmm. body starting to look like I'm 50-something, oh, so I God. needed to get some rest. Now I'm back to looking like I'm a 21-year-old again, and I'm ready for this Christmas stretch. Yeah, you look good. You look good. Yes, you're slimming it down. I think Desmond has well, uh, given uh, you a challenge. I was, to... was, was walking, doing yeah. a lot of walking, and I'm so happy that we were <laughs> able to connect once again with Janae's mm -hmm. uniform center. Mm -hmm. Went in there the other day, did some shopping for Christmas shopping. If you haven't decorated your trees yet or you haven't gotten your Christmas decorations, mm -hmm. go on down, do Janae's and you get your Christmas decorations and they've been so grateful now to sponsor, sponsor us, gift for trivia straight uh -huh. out to Christmas. Uh -huh. So let's see it. what the trivia love question it. is for this morning. What is the most recorded Christmas song ever? And at the end of the show, I'm going to sing it for you all. Oh, the number geez. to call 502 Three eight five 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 zero two three eight five five, and you can get these nice. What do you call these? Uh, Christmas snowman. Snowman. Mm, yeah. Snowman, as you can see <laughs> from Janae's Holly. What is the most recorded Christmas song ever? What is it? Chestnuts roasting. Really I, I I had to come back to this. <laughs> I had to come back to this. Let's take it out to the street star, Desmond Sanders, who's standing by with our morning traffic. Thanks for a job well done, Desmond, while I was home. <laughs> All right, Fisher, LaDawn, and Fisher, it's glad to have you back, man. It was just a pleasure uh, taking over from you sitting in that chair, but uh, glad to have you back. And I know you're all ready to go for Christmas and the New Year. Well, what's happening here? I'm actually at the intersection of Robinson Road and Marathon, and things are heating up quite fastly here on the streets under partly cloudy conditions. Everything is looking like Christmas. <laughs> Corporal Christopher Wems joining me on the broadcast. It's good to have you back on the streets. <laughs> uh, yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Bahamas. Uh, we're happy to report that we had no matters reported to the police last night. However, in a total of 24 hours, we would have had a total of nine accidents. Seven were accidents were minor damages only with two with injury with minor injuries. At this time, we have nine hospitalized victims. As a result of those accidents, uh, we have five impounded vehicles as a result of hit and runs and fatalities. Mm -hmm. Now, the emergency orders, as we all know and are aware, have expired. We are under new regulation, uh, COVID-wise, COVID-19 regulations, new regulations. But you still still so, so pe people not abiding by the rules of the road. Christmas is right around the corner. What are those strategies that uh, the Royal Bahamas Police Force are gonna deploy this time around? Oh yes, uh, we technically couldn't wait uh, for this 30 day to come to an end. It, it's just about there. It's drawing now. Uh, so we want to admonish all persons that traverse the city of Nassau and New Providence to please have your car license and ensured have your driver's license on you at all times and make sure it's up to date because uh, when you see the 14th of December come... I'll be, I'll be in full force. Oh, we'll be out in full force, but we're, we're going to be considered the Grinch which stole Christmas. And we're, gonna let, we're not going to play with you because you had ample time to do what you're supposed to do so that this day, when this day come, you can actually be prepared to traverse the road much easier without the worries and, and headaches because during the COVID time, we had plenty hit and runs because persons didn't have no insurance and it was getting away without 
uh, licensing their vehicles. So it, it had us at a little bar. But at this time, there's no hold bars. I'm saying it again. Listen up your cars, insurance, your car. All right? Now, now we have Thanksgiving coming up. We've got Christmas coming up. There are going to be a number of parties, a number of reveling uh, quite frequently around this time. What advice do you have for those motorists to avoid uh, 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 drinking and driving? You know, that's, that's a very serious issue in this country as well. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's a pandemic within itself. You know what I mean? I, we're, we're strong believers that you work hard, you play harder. But sometimes when you play harder, you tend to get reckless. Uh, we want to remind persons that, hey, listen, give everybody a different way to drive. You know what I mean? If you're going to carpool, then that's beautiful. But the driver must not drink. Try to get everybody home in a good time because, you know, the COVID, it is a no more lockdown. But sometimes the body still is in sleep mode after 11, 10 p.m. And I think it's very appropriate right now to tell us what is the law that exists on the, on the boards uh, uh, in the books as it relates to driving and drinking? <laughs> well, technically, once you're seen with an open bottle, like liquor, like a clear, clearly labeled alcohol beverage, uh, we have the right to stop and cite you uh, for driving with an open bottle container of alcohol in your car. However, the fine of that is $500. That's non-negotiable. Uh, you go to Nassau Street Court Complex if you, have a, if you want to di- dispute it. You know what I mean? But other than that, uh, you, you, you get what it's due to you. Um, what we're doing here, I, I want to advise, uh, people are watching us all around the world. So it's best we send, send that message out now. Get it right, or we'll help you get it right in other ways, all right? We also have persons who watch the TV shows every morning. That they say, hey, good job. Thank you. My kids loving it. But I want to say a special good morning. And good morning to Jason and LaCrista Sanders and their three sons who watches us religiously on the show and they say, hey, they cannot wait to see her on another day. So I, no, you, you, have a, you, have, you have a big fan base yes, out there. Yes, 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 yes. They like this, they like the people like the glasses. They say I look like Cyclops of, of X-Men, you know. But I thank them, I thank them, uh, and let's try to let's try to be better at what we do by informing persons, engaging with them. Uh, and some, we have the, the last thing we do is enforce. Most persons could attest that the last thing the police does is enforce. We try to educate you first, and after that doesn't work, hey, you're gonna get the law. You're gonna get it. Uh, you're giving the superstar Corporal Kemp. Uh, some competition, but always a pleasure to have you on the streets, man. You're a great asset to this organization, great asset to the Bahamas. That's what's happening here in a section, Robinson Road and Marathon. It's feeling and looking like Christmas. Charles and the Don, back to you in the studio. Thanks a lot, Des. I'm sorry. As we are waking up to 79 degrees, mostly cloudy winds, east of 13 miles per hour, the humidity, 73%. A frontal boundary in the vicinity of the central Bahamas will continue to transition to a warm front as it migrates northwards while supporting some shower activity. Elsewhere, a strong high pressure system will maintain brisk winds across the islands today for all areas. Weather will be cloudy, warm and windy with scattered showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms, mainly in the vicinity of the frontal boundary. Your daytime high temperature, 82 degrees Fahrenheit, overnight low, 72. And as we look ahead to the next few days, expect some Thunderstorms on Thursday, 82 in the day, 72 at night. Clearing up a bit on Friday, but a thunderstorm also expected in the AM, 81 in the day, 68 at night. Gender-based violence still a major concern in this country, particularly on the heels of a woman's near-death experience at the hands of her alleged boyfriend. It's an issue the National Security Minister weighed in on, deeming the incident inexcusable. This is some of what I have spoken about, which is that we have to address ourselves, our behavior, because that's completely, completely unacceptable. When I was raised, I was raised that you didn't hit women. Um, That's much more than hitting a woman. And so we have to address, again, as I say, the socialization of persons. We have to address the anger that seems to be rampant in this country. Um, But that's completely unacceptable. President of the Zonta Club of the Bahamas, Marissa Mason Smith, not mincing words when it comes to the attack of a mother and child in the Angleston community on Monday afternoon. And fresh on the heels of the Zonta Club kicking off its 16 days of activism for that very same community. Mason Smith making it clear that the organization stands against violence everywhere. In the most strenuous of terms of savage, unstealing, and slimy abuse rooted against this mother and her child yesterday. To us, 
This abuse has real against women and children must stop. Behind all our cares, let's put some action. And so I had the opportunity to speak with the mother of the victim and express our sadness for this incident. And we promise to be close with her and to work with her in this um during this difficult time. Within the one week period of November 3rd and November 10th, there were four COVID deaths. The victims, a 74 year old man from, from Eleuthera, two New Providence women ages 75 and 90 years, and another 90 year old from Bimini. What we have now is a COVID death toll just one shy of 670, with now 68 deaths under investigation. November 15th, accounting for 12 new confirmed cases, seven of the sick on New Providence, three on Andros, and two on Grand Bahama. Six Six men and six women make up the newly infected. Some 46 people are in hospital, none of them in the intensive care unit. Meantime, 12 people recovered on Monday. 242 RT-PCR tests were completed on Monday. Three of them repeats. A new group of parliamentary representatives equals a newly elected Bahamas branch of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Women's Association. The association's chair is Her Excellency Leslie Amilla Bryce. Deputy chair is House Speaker the Honorable Patricia DeVoe. And secretary is Senator the Honorable Vianna Gardner. Founded in 1911, the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association is one of the oldest established organizations in the Commonwealth, comprising of over 180 regions of the Commonwealth. It offers a vast opportunity for parliamentarians and parliamentary staff to collaborate on issues of mutual interest and to share good practices. Well, for sure, we have a, a chef in the house this morning. He's whipping up something for Thanksgiving. And this is what I miss the most <laughs> about coming here early in the morning. We are getting ready for Thanksgiving, and we have Chef Mizek in the house, and he's going to show us the right way to do some stuff when he has his turkey and everything all right. You ready? Yes, good morning. Right good after boss. the break, we'll have the stuffing for the turkey. Everything is changing, and your favorite hardware and home improvement store is getting with the program. We Buy You Sell is rolling out its new online shopping feature. If you go to our website, wbusbahamas.com, it's a quick and easy three-step process. Step one, browse the gallery and select your item. Step two, add to cart. And step three, check out. Go to our website, wbusbahamas.com, to shop with us today. Do you want to travel this holiday season? Don't want to miss out on those blockbuster deals? Well, have you gotten your COVID-19 vaccine yet? Time is running out to travel for the holidays, and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine may be just what you need. It's one and done. Just one jab of this vaccine, and two weeks later, you're fully vaccinated and ready to shop. Protect yourself and your loved ones this holiday season. Schedule your vaccine appointment now. Bahamians battling complications of COVID-19 are transported to the capital for further medical treatment by air ambulance services. Unfortunately, a handful of those ill patients have died. Physician Dr. Sergio Kerr says while death is inevitable, watching a patient take their last breath is a painful experience. The majority of the patients that we transport do make it to hospital successfully. There's maybe only been a handful of cases where patients, unfortunately, when we get to the island, they've already been in such a bad state and a lot of patients, unfortunately, stay homesick as opposed to seeking medical attention early. And this actually makes it worse and they have a higher chance of, of, of death because of that. So some patients, when we get there, although we try our very hardest, we are unable to, to be effective in saving them. Imagine the scent of death and failed efforts to save lives can take a major toll on one's mental health. However, Dr. Sergio Kerr says a plan is in place to check the mental health status of all Air Ambulance members. The team that we have comprises of, you know, physicians, uh, nurses, paramedics, and emergency medical technicians, and is, is very taxing mentally on the team, especially when you're dealing with patients that are critically ill. So what we try to do, we try to offer uh, support and ensuring that, pay, that we discuss, you know, any issues, uh, concerns that the team may have in transporting, you know, very ill patients. Uh, we try to do the briefing after we would have transported these patients just to get an idea of where everyone is at mentally. 
Now, what's the fall season without pumpkins? The thickle shelled winter squash that is synonymous with Thanksgiving. Well, two pumpkin producers shared with our Carla Palmer their latest harvest. As the Thanksgiving season fast approaches, Mrs. Rovina and husband Bishop Franklin Ferguson of Western New Providence are preparing for a bountiful Thanksgiving season. I was farming all my life. I always had pigeon peas and cassavas because they don't work your hard. I always grew some tomatoes and the green corns. You know, I never expected back home in Exuma growing up, my grandparents, because I grew up with them, they had, um, they grew pumpkins, but I've never seen that many. But this is the first time I really grew pumpkin and I am shocked at what, what has happened. The Fergusons are in awe of what they have been able to produce. Their green thumbs in overdrive since last year during the lockdowns with the COVID pandemic as they showcase their pumpkins running wild on the vines. 19 pumpkins in all and counting, not only on the ground, but growing on the fence. This pumpkin is getting big so quickly the weight might pull the vine down and might fall and crush on the on the on the um the walkway there. And so we got this idea of the onion bag to keep keep it up, keep the weight up. But I didn't expect it all of this all over the place. I planted them down in the corner there up in this area and every time and it starts spreading. And so one day I said to my husband, I said, we better keep this back door closed. Because when we wake up one morning we can meet the pumpkins in the house. Not only are the Fergusons looking forward to the pumpkin harvest, but their neighbors as well. Reportedly always blessed with the fruits of the Fergusons' labor from what has become the community's garden. If anyone's going to take it, they can make use of it. I have no difficulty with that. We have a sea grape tree in our yard that's right on the corner. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I always tell the neighbors, they can always come and pick the grapes because I could never eat all. We could never eat all of them as a family. So it, it's, it's that kind of a neighborly spirit we want to keep developed in our community so that we could uh, indeed uh, work together and, and grow together. In fact, the Fergusons have gone one step further in the idea of an initiative that could be implemented in communities throughout the country towards a nation feeding itself. This is just vacant property in the community that was blocking traffic, uh, the view of traffic, and uh, could be detrimental to persons traveling uh, in this area. And so I just thought I'll have it cleared. But I thought of it after we have done that, that it makes sense to let something grow in it. And uh, it's like having community spaces where things are growing. And in this case, we just planted watermelon seeds and the watermelon seeds are growing and the, the watermelons are looking very well. And I, I think this is a good thing that in all of our communities we can do. And we want it to grow so that we can demonstrate that in our nation, we could really feed ourselves one family at a time. We can feed ourselves if we all make the effort just to plant some seeds. Seeds, put some seeds in the ground. With three sets of pumpkin harvesting to do, the Fergusons have their work cut out as Thanksgiving is but two weeks away. Well, for sure, something smells good in yes, this kitchen. The pot is all oh, up. Yeah. One thing I like about the gentleman that's on the side of us, Chef Mizzet, he has a very unique first name, Charles. Yeah, Charles. So that means you can cook very well. <laughs> Tell us the truth this morning, Chef. Uh, good morning. I want to show the Bahamas how to make simple stuffing. You know, stuffing seems to be a problem with many uh, most households, especially old wives. And basically, I have some basic ingredients here. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to either start it with either oil, if you want it healthy, or butter, which actually tastes better. So that's your two choices. Then I have some chopped onion that I added first. Always you want to fry the herb first. The raw mm -hmm. herb. Then I have some chopped sweet pepper. Also a little garlic. And a, a little gold pepper as well. Because you must give it a kick. And then here are some chopped fresh thyme. And also oregano. Ooh, that smells good, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. So these are beaming herb. Uh -huh. And then if you want to add some color to it, I have here some chopped spinach. Wow. Like fresh spinach also. Yeah. And just if you want to eat just the ingredients you're putting it so far, but we're going to have more of this as we come back, Ladon. Yes, for sure. And as we head to the break, we take a look back at the day in Bahamian history. On November 17, 1941, Winston Gus Cooper was born. He is commonly referred to as the father of the modern-day Junkanoo and a longtime leader of the Valley Boys Junkanoo group before his passing. Also on November 17, 1954, a 56-pound loggerhead turtle was hauled in off the eastern end of New Providence.
it is important that you follow these four R's when taking your medications. Right drug. Remember that each medication is specific for each individual and what may work for one person may not work for the other. Right dose. Taking more or less than what is prescribed by your provider may cause you to either run out of your pills faster, it may affect your kidneys or liver, and it may even worsen your medical condition. Right time. Taking medications when told ensures that you have enough medication in your body to fight off the illness you may have. Right way. If your medication calls for you to take it cold, with food, or at night only, Please follow these directions as there may be side effects. Make a commitment today to be adherent to your medication regimen and practice healthy living. This message has been brought to you by the Bahamas AIDS Foundation with funding provided by PEPFAR, USAID Local Capacity Initiative Small Grant. Member Parliament for Exoma and Ragadala, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Tourism, Investments and Aviation. Honorable Chester Cooper on Sunday attended the annual Remembrance Day Church Service in Exuma. The service adopting the theme, Lest We Forget. Exuma's clergy partnered with senior government and other island officials to honor the Bahamians who paid the ultimate sacrifice for our country. We give you thanks as we remember the men and women who have sacrificed their lives for our benefit. As we also reflect on your dear son, Jesus Christ, his death and his resurrection, his sacrifice gave us the hope of eternal life. Help us to become more mindful of the bond that we unite as human beings and families, despite our differences. Booyah! We're getting ready for this stuffing. It smells so good. And when we come back, we'll add the extra ingredients with Chef Mizek. And Ladon the Eater. <laughs> <laughs> hey, long time no see. You hear me? Long time no see. Boiled fish, stew fish, stew conk. I love it all. Tourists come here to take our tours, experience our sun, sand, and sea, and they also spend money around town. I used to see a bunch of hogfish around here, but nowadays, I hardly see any. You protect one area, the fish do they think, make a bunch of babies that spread all over the sea. What's the problem? If we protect certain parts of our sea, it keeps all parts working right. I was against that phrase, but knowing what I know now, I totally agree having marine protected areas. I support marine protected areas. We support marine protected areas. Look for Bahamas Protected on Facebook. Sign the petition. Sign the petition. <laughs> Chef Mesek, when I do the cooking at home on Sunday, when I do my stuffing, I normally put the bread in the toaster and then grate it up and then fry it down like that. Yeah. So is that, a, is that this, the, the regular way or what, what are we doing here this uh, morning? That could be one of the regular ways. What you actually can do is after you take a, one of the cheese grater mm -hmm. and you dry the bread and you have to use the cheese grater and you can actually grate the bread. But also when you have the leftover bread crumbs or the bread crust, also leftover cake, uh, cereal that you consider uh, stale, mm -hmm. you can actually freeze them because you've really? got basically got a three month lifespan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can freeze them anytime you're making stuffing. You just fry your herbs mm -hmm. and you just actually add them to, your, to, the, to, the, to make the stuffing, to form mm -hmm. a unique stuffing. Mm -hmm. But what, does, what we have actually is the oil and the herbs already dried. Now, even cornflakes, you have uh, raisin brown. You can also add the craisins from the food store or the raisins and you're gonna actually add to this at the end. If you want an orange stuff, and you just take the orange peel and you just grate it, mm. and you can actually get the orange flavor. Now, mm. what's important is how you actually marinate or season the turkey. Mm -hmm. Now, so what how, I, how did you get this? this okay, together? basically what I have here is I debone the turkey. I take the turkey off the bone. Okay. The rest of the bone, mm -hmm. because uh, it takes a shorter time period to cook. A shorter time period to cook, and when you okay. actually bone it, mm -hmm. okay, it actually looks oh, like this. Wow. It also takes a shorter period of time to cook and also you mm -hmm. can get more portion. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. because if you bake a whole turkey, most of the meat is attached to the bone. Okay. Now, this year now, I can actually serve 12 poison comfortably from this. Oh, and this only takes me about an hour to cook. Mm -hmm. And when you roast and what you want to do is you want to start high. For example, mm -hmm. just take an hour, I'm going to put it on 400 for one hour, then bring it down to 300, sorry, 400 for half an hour, bring it down to 300 for not half an hour. Now, that's if I have a commercial oven. If you have your oven at home, at home this may take you maybe an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want a 45 minutes on 400, bring it down another 45 minutes on 300. And that's mm -hmm. actually fully cooked. And the only thing I want to do now is actually show you how we put the stuffing in and then we roll it. But also, what is important is you have to marinate it or season it first. Mm -hmm. What's make this? Now, after I fried the herbs, I cut the, I cut the fire off. Okay. 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 And okay. it's just a matter of mixing the bread comes in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So after all the bread comes in, herbs combined, basically you just take the stuffing and you just lay it in the breast. Mm -hmm. If you notice that I cut the breast open to form an envelope, and this is actually the tender line of the breast. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to actually use that as my, as my filler. So once I put that stuff in here, I take the breast, I enclose it here and I lock it in here, and basically Ooh, I wrap it here. That's huge. All right? mm -hmm. Now, if you're not uh, comfortable doing that, you think that the breast can open, mm -hmm. you just take a, a chocolate, sorry, you just take a, a cotton twine and you can actually tie it. Uh -huh. That would actually form the, the ruler. Mm -hmm. Looks like a roll. Mm -hmm. But also, what's important is, I mm -hmm. also have the Ooh, turkey yes. leg that Ooh, I take yes. all of the bone. Mm -hmm. This also has a lot of muscle in it. Mm -hmm. So in order to cut through this, you have to cut all the muscle out. And this is actually, you'll cut like a, like mm -hmm. a round roll it now. Mm -hmm. What's also important is persons want stuffing in the leg. So you put some stuffing in the middle here. You oh, then roll. This is looking good. Yeah, you roll the leg up. Can, yeah. I, can I ask a personal question right <laughs> now? Certainly. How long will it take to do in a microwave? Uh, <laughs> because I don't think you need to take this back. I'm going to yes, take it upstairs in our canteen. You have yes. a microwave up there. Are you going to be able to do it on it? You're going to be able to do it on it? How long will it take in a microwave? What, 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. Let's go. Oh, okay. You have a turkey for breakfast this morning. All right, so when, you roll, so when you roll the leg, right? Uh -huh. uh, normally, a uh, butcher would normally uh, use the twine and tie it. But for you all at home, you're going to have to take this, a toothpick. Mm -hmm. or, uh, or a wooden skewer and then just actually uh, hold the skin and then just lock it like over like this. Oh, wow, and that's long. How long have you been doing this? Because you look like you have this right down to the teeth. Well, to be quite honest, I, I learned this in 1982 in London. Mm. I spent a whole December with the chef, uh, just uh, deboning turkey, stuffing turkey. And, and, and what was disappointed is, I, my first Christmas in London, I said, I'm gonna have a beautiful Christmas. But Christmas Eve, the chef said, Charles, when you work hard, you have to day off. Because you have a great Christmas. I had nothing home at the house. All I had in the house on a big Christmas day mm -hmm. was corned beef and rice. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. All the taxi stopped, all the buses stopped. There was nowhere to go. So that's the way, one Christmas I can never forget. 1982 in London. Christmas with corned beef and rice. And speaking right. about Christmas, let's get that trivia question back up <laughs> on the screen before we exit out here. What? Let's, let's get the question back up on the screen. As Chef Mi what is the most recorded Christmas song ever? And Chef Mizek, we're going to give you first crack at the answer. Jingle bells. Oh, you're <laughs> wrong. And the answer is, as I promised, oh, I will gosh. sing. Oh, silent oh, night. How, <laughs> how the, the rain is walk through the street. <laughs> And the winner, and the winner sure. is Dominique Benneby, who guessed the right answer. Oh, silent oh, night. Yes, and we'll be singing along with that coming up mm -hmm. recently. Okay. But as Chef Charles Mesick continue to prepare this turkey, we want to wish everybody who are starting, you know, everybody's going to be selling their th Thanksgiving dinner yeah. next week. And Christmas is coming up with I ham. I don't know oh, what LaDawn is doing. She's hauling about. She have nails. <laughs> if you have nails, <laughs> why do you want to cook? <laughs> and you have to put it over here. Oh, put it here. Okay. Yes. Yeah, oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I could hear, I could hear them in my inner piece. That actually lost this. <laughs> oh. This will look good in the microwave. Oh, yes. yes. So this is actually how you uh, form the ruler. All right, ruler. and be sure to stay tuned into the ZNS Network for news as it happens, TV and radio updates throughout the day. Then you can tune into the Northern Edition at 6.30 and the Bahamas tonight at 7. And that's it for us this morning for the entire team. Fisher and I, we're, we're going to be... 
Yeah. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Chef Mizzy, yes. thank you so much for joining us here on My the morning pleasure. edition. And My all pleasure. the best to you this Thanksgiving. Thanks thank you so much. Big Christmas, my true love sent to me. Oh, it's so happy.